Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. Finally going to get my Morgan Dollar Collection updated, remastered as I like to say, and with the new lighting kit, I'm going to break out all my raw coins and uh, see what they really look like without the glare of the airtight around them. So, as many of you have known, I've been saying for some time I've been wanting to get this video redone. I've had some additions. Um, and I've replaced some of my cleaned ones with some originals. Well, non-cleaned, I should say. So I've decided to go ahead and do this in some parts instead of making one long video, although there will be a long video when I put everything together, if you wish to watch that. But at, all, at the top there is all my raw, and I have all my graded at the bottom. I am two dates away from having a date set. I need the 1893 and the 1895. And I'm about midway to a little bit over 50% of having the complete business strike. It contains two Carson cities and a Redfield. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. All right, segment one. This segment's going to cover coins from 1878. To 1889 in the raw so none of these will be graded and we'll start off with the 1878 Philadelphia eight tail feathers I picked this one up down in Louisiana in the French Quarter believe it or not and count them up Eight tail feathers. I don't collect very many of the VAMs, actually any. I just think that this is a significant one to have. There were 749,500 of these minted. So, on to the next Morgan. 1879 Philadelphia. This one's not in very good condition. It's one of the ones that I've got for an upgrade down the road it's just sort of a hole filler right now it's not been clean it's just been heavily worn in that year they minted 14 million eight hundred and six thousand so that's why that eight tail feather ones that I had just before is really really a nice nice coin but anyway there's the 1879 Philly on to the next coin 1879 O. Oh, they minted 2,887,000 of those. And uh, first year for New Orleans minting a Morgan dollar. I consider this one to be an MSBU shape. It's got some nice luster on it. And yeah, nice nice to pick up the first year mintage from New Orleans of the Morgan Silver Dollar. They were one year late to the game. Anyway, I believe this one would grade out. On to the next coin. 1880 Philadelphia. They made 12.6 million of them that year. Quite a few. And another BU example. Nice fields on that one. Yeah. I really like that one. Backs even better. The cartwheels going off on them. Very nice one. Perhaps one day it'll be graded. But for now, it stays on the raw side. To the next coin. 1881 Philadelphia. Another BU example. In that year, they minted 9163000 So, you know, not another hard year to get, but 
I do believe that this one would grade out. It's got some nice luster to it. Great detail. Some excellent cartwheeling going off on there, yeah. It's a pretty coin. Like the others that are in the raw, perhaps one day it'll be graded. On to the next coin. 1882 Philadelphia. Another example in BU condition. And there were 11.1 million minted. Doesn't quite have the luster of the last couple of fillies that were just shown. But the detail is just solid on this coin. Fields are fairly clean. And yeah. Another, another nice looking example. To the next coin. 1882 New Orleans. Another BU example. And I picked this one up at a coin show a few weeks ago. First thought maybe it was cleaned after I got it home, realized that maybe it just had a couple coins leaned up against it. You'll see why here in a second. That one had 6,090,000 minted. And if you look here, you'll see on the fields in front of her face, and it continues throughout around the whole circumference of the coin, like another coin was laying up against it. Severely bag marks, contact marks, but her face is really, really clean in it. If it wouldn't have been for that coin laying up against the side of it, look at how it's mirrored around the edges. And it's got all that luster it'll have. It just probably keeps it from getting a very, very nice grade because of that ring on that side. And it's absent of it on the reverse. So it's too bad. Probably get a really, really good grade had it not been for that but probably a 62 63 with that that's my take nice bold strike for new orleans to the next coin 1883 new orleans i give this one an au condition there were eight million seven hundred and twenty five thousand minted I always hear everyone say New Orleans had a hard time with their strikes. Their dyes weren't as strong. They didn't change them out as often as they should have. So, the Mint was plagued with all kinds of production issues and problems throughout the year. So, whenever you get one of these in a really nice bold strike, it's always a plus. Anyway, there you have it. The 1883 New Orleans. To the next coin, 1884 Philadelphia. Another BU example. They minted 14 million and 70,000 that year. Very clean coin. Probably a 63, perhaps a 64. Anyway, another nice example, the 1884 Philadelphia to the next coin. 1884 New Orleans, a significant coin in my collection because it was sort of like the rekindling of my addiction of silver. If you've watched that video, it was this one. Got it from Silvertown, Winchester, Indiana. Yes, that's where Silvertown and the Coin Vault produced their show from. And uh, it's all the same store. It's owned by the same business anyway. So Coin Vault, Silvertown, pretty much darn near the same thing. They minted 9,730,000 of these. And really, really, really clean coin. It's got a scratch around their cheek. But this is just a blazer. That probably did not help with my addiction. Is it probably, I'm thinking maybe a 64, even with the scratch on her face, because the rest of it, the fields and everything, is just really, really clean. A nice, bold strike from New Orleans. There's a lot of these out here. You tend to find when you find the 1884s, you see a lot of New Orleans. A lot of these have survived. So, 
eh, you know, still good to have it in the MS-64, maybe as low as a 63. Anyway, there's your 1884 New Orleans to the next coin. 1885 Philadelphia. They minted 17,787,000 that year. <laughs> Pretty high amount. And I've got this listed for myself as an AU. After giving it another look, I could get an MS-61. I think Mrs. Silver Steeler would tend to agree, won't you? Yeah. yeah that's, it's really clean. Yeah, it's a very clean coin. Doesn't look like a bad strike either. Uh-oh. Oh, I'd give that better than an AU. Anyway, getting underneath the lights really, really helps you see that. Love it. 1885 Philadelphia. To the next coin. 1885 New Orleans. And that year, New Orleans minted 9185000 Well, story about this one. That same trip where I got the eight tail feathers, we also picked up this 1885 New Orleans in New Orleans, the French Quarter, two blocks away from the U.S. Mint, which as soon as we purchased that coin, we went to that mint. So this coin from New Orleans has been in the mint again that it was made in. Eh, odd little story. We like it. Who knows, it may have been in that same very room by that press that was there that, got, that struck it. We don't know all those details, but it has been back to where it was born once. Call that a BU condition. The 1885 New Orleans to the next 1887 one. 1887 Philadelphia. They minted 20290000 of them that year. They made a lot. Well, don't you know, this is a coin I have that I only believe is in AU condition. Probably picked it up at my LCS for like about... I don't know, 20 bucks. That's what he generally sells them to me all the time for. So finding an upgrade in this is not going to be difficult. Not at all. And I don't have a bad example myself. So, you know, it's on the back burner way down the road. There's your 1887 Philadelphia to the next 1888 coin. 1888 Philadelphia. I believe this one is in AU condition. They minted 19,183,000 that year. And uh, this was an upgrade between my last Morgan Dollar Collection vid. The other coin I had was cleaned. This one is not cleaned, but it's got some, I don't know, boogeration, <laughs> if I were to call it. And it's got some nice toning going around the perimeter, but there's a couple spots where what in the world is going on? And there you see on the back a couple more of the uh, boogerations. Yep, that's what I'm going to stick with. My new term for the day. Still a nice looking specimen. A definite upgrade from the clean one that I had before. So there's your 1888 Philadelphia. To the next coin. 1889 Philadelphia. And that year, they minted 21,726,000 of them. One of the highest in that decade. One of the highest in the series. And I do have this one in a BU condition. MS what? I don't know. I'd give it at least a 63. Fields are fairly clean. Not too much on her cheek or her face. And, I don't know. Could, who knows? Could get a 64, but I'm going to at least right now give it a 63. Very clean coin. There's your 1889 Philadelphia. To the next coin. 1889 New Orleans. They minted 11,875,000 of them that year. Mine is worn. I would say good to very good to maybe fine. So, being the fact that they made over 11 million of them, it shouldn't be too hard to get an upgrade on this one, which is on my radar and will be done. There's your 1889 New Orleans. This is going to end segment one. For those are, that are watching the full vid, stand by for segment two. For those that just watched this segment, 
Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.